still, police officers do not make 80 to $90. I mean, a thousand dollars. They would have to be like the chief of police or higher. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They do not. They make a median salary anywhere. And if you talk about just like say they've been on the force for like at least ten years, they're making anywhere between like fifty, forty-five to maybe sixty-five thousand dollars. Eighty or ninety is far out of range. How y'all feeling based on? Wait, wait, the fuck? Pop the balloon or find love. Us truckers is going to talk about it. Finding love in a modern age right now, I, I I think it's just a no-go. There's females out there, but as as a truck driver, I come to understand why uh, some relationships don't work. We're going to talk about these so-called dating shows. And I, I think it's just mundane now. Like, Kendra G kind of set it the standard of of how her dating show is to me it just became another kevin samuels ripoff because basically all they doing is just coming on there either a trolling or b promoting themselves that's about it because none of them women that comes on there that actually trying to look for somebody is 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 setting standards that modern guys really not doing every time she asks about the money how much money they got to make? Oh, they got to make 100K because I'm out here doing the damn thing. They got to match. They got to match what I'm making. Well, how much you make? Well, they just got to match what I'm making. Oh, well, what you do? Oh, I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> okay, so in other words, that's just another word for you not having a job and being broke, pretty much. Take pop the balloon or find love. I like the host. The host is fire. Like, why can't, why can't a guy find a girl like that? You know what I'm saying? The host is on point. I, I got to give it to her. And I, I, I watch that more than I do Kendra because Kendra shit is boring now. Kendra is just mundane. Same questions, yada, yada, yada. Back in the day, it was fresh. It was something different. And here's the pop the balloon girl was something fresh and different as as long as it keeps going on like it's doing it's of course it's going to run its course but this gentleman right here let's let's start off with the introductions though because this this crop of females that she got for this episode is not hype at all Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And today we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even Arlette was like, wow, jovial group here. It, 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 sound, it just sounded like they didn't even want to be there. It, I guess they just there for a check. Uh, I, I'm assuming some of these females will get like, Maybe like a hundred dollars or something like that, just to show up or to move the, the production along. But yeah, this did you just you heard that right? Was that like exciting to you? That was just no mundane, right? No, it sounded like a dead audience. Are we ready? I guess not. Ja Rule did a concert and he got the same ovation. It was mundane. Let's get into the part when the guy comes out. The answers to why these women pop their balloons is crazy. All right, let's start over here. If we can have your name and age. Alexis, and I'm 29. And Alexis, what do you do? I'm a realtor. Okay, nice. Now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, he just didn't really seem like too much my type, and um, I don't know about the police, honestly. <laughs> okay, okay. But you're an attractive man, so, you know, no thank hard you, feelings. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. A contestant number one says that she popped her balloon because she wasn't attracted to him. But yet, in another side of her neck, she said he was a nice guy. He was, oh, he, he was a nice guy. And she also said the police. Like, let me just stop the show for a minute. Females always want somebody to have a bag, always want to have a career, somebody that wants to provide. Here's a man that wants to provide, and the reason why he became the law enforcement officer that he became because he likes to provide and he likes to help people. And he's making money. He's in good shape. Nice-looking guy, no homo. 
But she says the reason why she popped her balloon is because he's the police. That's going to that's gonna be a telltale throughout this episode, by the way, the police. Well, how do you feel about the young lady's answers to, to why she popped the balloon? Well, I felt it was stupid. I felt like she didn't really have a good answer. I think when the first part of her answer was that he wasn't her type. She should have just stuck with that and said, listen, he came out and immediately I was not attracted to his look. And left it at that. But you want to go into, oh, and he's the police. Okay, so what about the police? Do you have a track record with the police? You know, were were you on the other side of the law at one point in your life? I mean, because that girl was only like, what, 22, 23? What do you know about the police already? Like, what are you trying to say? Right. Now, if you have a history of date, if you have a past experience dating people who worked in law enforcement and they had a particular type of track record, the ones that you dated, and that's what turns you off from them, then that would be one thing. But if you have no experience interacting, whether it be friendly or in a relationship with a police officer, what are you speaking on? Just the fact that he's a police officer? That doesn't make him a bad a bad choice. Now, the guy, like I said, the guy don't look bad. Would he be somebody you'll be interested in regardless of his profession? For me, well, I was looking at it on my phone, so I really couldn't see how he looked, you know, other than he was dark skin. And I like black skin. That doesn't turn me off. Like, I love a man with, with nice black skin. Um, I couldn't see what he looked like in the face. Um, I will say his voice. If I was a, if I hadn't seen him and was just talking to him on the phone, that probably wouldn't be something that I would be attracted to. But it's not to say that it would be a turn off completely. We can have your name and age. My name is Tiffany and I'm 26 years old. Okay. And Tiffany, what do you do? I am an exotic dancer, but I use my money from exotic dancing to fund my business ventures. Ooh, okay, mm -hmm. all right. And now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, first of all, he said that he don't, you know, like smokers. I'm a big smoker. And I don't think, you know, the police and an exotic dancer would mix. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I like the way you're built. You know, I like the age. I'm I'm into older men. Mm. So, okay. <laughs> exotic dancer and the police don't mix. I, I don't think an exotic dancer and anybody in any field with, is a good mix anyway. I would feel some kind of way. I don't think it's just the police. I just think that as a man, I, I just feel that you know, I would feel some kind of way. Now, the smoker part, yeah, okay. If I don't like smoking and you're a big smoker and we know what kind of smoking you're talking about. Smoke weed every day. Yeah, thank you for that. What do you think of her answer? I thought hers was a little bit more honest um, to a point compared to everybody else. Because like she said, one of his biggest uh, deal breakers is a smoker. Okay, I'm a smoker. And she knows she ain't about to quit no time soon. So we don't even need to waste time here. Exactly. Um, when she went into the rest of it, I could see where she would say that being a stripper and a, a, a stripper and a police officer would not really go well together. Because for one, it's about respectability and not to be so judgy of people who do that because, you know, she said, oh, I, I take my money and I invest in my business adventures. Well, she would have expounded upon that a little bit more. Um, I would have felt more like, OK, maybe, you know, because a lot of women get into stripping because they have a hard time making money to you know, doing other jobs and, you know, maybe whatever they're trying to take care of requires them to make more money. Yes. Hi, I'm C and I'm 36. And C, what do you do? I'm in medical sales. All right. okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, well, I just have to give it to you. You were the first guy to come out and I know that we can only pick one guy. So I'm just waiting. Mm, okay. But is he someone that is your type? Um, maybe if I got to know him a little bit better, but... <laughs> You know, right now I'm just waiting. Okay. I don't think there was anything wrong with her answer. I'm speechless on this one. Like, I don't think there was anything wrong with her answer. I think that was an honest answer in that they knew that there were going to be other candidates to come out. And so not that she didn't have to pop the balloon because she could have left her balloon inflated and they still not be a match. But um, 
again, the majority of the women popped their balloon as soon as it came out. So just say what it is. You didn't find them attractive. Yeah, I I, I think I would have just accepted that. Like, I'm just waiting. But you Okay, if you didn't find me attractive, just say that. That's all. And and then I can keep right. it moving. That's all. Right. My name is Nkiru, and I'm 32 years old. Hold on. I I, I, I want to say the accent. I, I'm liking the accent. And what do you do? I work with a pharmaceutical company as a monitor. Okay, very nice. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I don't know. He's just not my type. Like, just, I don't know. If I'm basing off of looks, he's just not my type. Okay. And what about him is not really your type? Give me a little more. I, I got the part where you said if it was based off the of looks and you say you're you're not my type, I I got it. But when the host asked her, well, what about him? And you just, it's like you're trying to pull something out of your ass. Like, you're, you're, you're just trying to pull something out of your ass so you can, so you can say. Again, like with the last one, if you're not attracted to me, just say that and I will move on. Why you just had to try to pull something well, out of the, your ass? Well, the, the, it wasn't her that dragged it out. The host asked her more. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know, is Arlette a little messy, okay? She's a little messy because she said that he's not her type. She want to dig in. She's waiting for those moments that she could kiki and ha-ha to herself. I be peeping what she does. She did say he wasn't my type. Right. Now, saying you're not my type is a nice way of saying, hey, I'm not physically attracted to you, all right? So we, I think we all kind of understand when all you're doing is basing it off of what you see in front of you, if if I say you're not my type, that means hey, I'm not attracted to you. Well, let's the see. Host? Let's 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 see if she's able to pull something out of that ass of hers. Um, uh, I don't really know. I just I just don't feel the connection. Okay. Yes. Okay. Th that's a fair answer. I I will accept her answer. There's no connection. I'll accept it. I'll accept her answer. You'll accept her answer? That's an answer you'll accept? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have asked her another question after that. Because it doesn't matter, oh, after she heard him speak about himself and, and what he does, if that would have changed her opinion. Sight, on sight, she wasn't attracted. So All she right. popped a balloon. My name is Danielle, and I'm 35. Okay. Danielle, what do you do? I work at Human Resources. Nice. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, honestly, it's because he's the police. Oh. <laughs> okay, so apart from him being a police officer, he is someone that is your type? Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily go off of like, uh, looks per se, so if we had a conversation, maybe. Okay, but all right. he's the police. Yeah, and that was a stupid answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just stupid. Uh, that was just stupid. Like, he's the police. What's wrong with that? I think the host should have asked them to explain that more. Like, okay, so what about him being a police officer is unattractive to you? Like, explain that. Have your name and age. Caprice, 32. Okay, and Caprice, what do you do? I am a certified Christian life coach. Okay, for, for that, that would be a no for me. <laughs> Look, I'm a spiritual type of guy. I'm a religious type of guy. But I already, I already know that where this where this would go with me like and I, I don't go to church i i do pray to my god but i i already know where this is gonna go so this will be an automatic no for me let's let's see why she popped her balloon and now why did you end up popping your balloon um just initially it just wasn't enough bass in your voice <laughs> it should be more natural brother it should flow out like this look man i ain't falling for no banana in my tailpipe see that's more natural for us You've been hanging out with this dude too long. That's it? Not not enough bass in his voice. Maybe she felt like he sounded too soft, too feminine. I don't know. Because women are attracted to things about a man that, that says man to us. The way he looks, how his voice sounds, how he acts, um, how he's built. Things that speak to us, and, and as soon as we see it or hear it, we're like, oh, that's a man. My name is Lexi, and I'm 27. Hey, Lexi, what do you do? I am a full-time biomedical science student and a birth doula. A what? A birth doula. Wait. A birth doula. A birth doula. For like people, women who want to have the babies oh, at home. Oh, okay. Never, never heard of that one before. It's called a birth. Yeah, they're called doula. A birth doula. Okay. Let's see why she popped the balloon. Okay. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, um, 
unlike everybody else, like the police thing didn't really bother me. Mm. But like as I like kind of walked, it was like kind of like the haircut in the back is like not fully cut, mm. and then the chap lips. Yeah, okay. it's kind of a okay. thing for me. So, yeah, <laughs> got it. Okay, that's it. She was not physically attracted. Why not just say that? Just say that you're not attracted and keep it moving. You had to turn around and the haircut. The man is bald. Where you see some hair at? And he's dark. Right. I think this is the last one. Kiana, thirty-two. And Kiana, what do you do? Um, well, I'm in the health health feel mm -hmm. hold on she lying she lying I'm trying to figure out how to make being a cna sound attractive there ain't nothing attractive about a cna <laughs> <laughs> you clean shit for a living hold on hold on let's let's hear that again oh. hold on kiana 32 and kiana what do you do um well i'm in the health health field mm -hmm. cna also in real estate and i'm the supervisor at a, a shoe store so okay i'm a supervisor at a shoe store what what shoe store it don't matter a shoe store is a shoe store those ain't the only type of shoe stores there's plenty of shoe stores oh, what oh I got okay. to do oh. she said she works in real estate she's a cna she's a supervisor at a shoe store and she works in real estate she got a job she got three of them. She ain't making no money. I, I just think the first one is cap, though. But I, I like your answers to how she's trying to make it yeah, presentable. she's trying to make it sound good. It don't sound good. Now, I I know some STNAs that goes out with cops all the time. CNAs do not. Well, they, go, oh, you mean date them? Yeah, they, I've, yeah. Seen, I've seen a few. I, I've seen a couple of nurses date police officers. That's not a nurse. CNA is not a nurse. An aide. A nurse's aide. I've seen a few of them. Not a nurse's aide. Oh, yeah. Certified nurse's aide. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, nurse's aide, right? Yeah, you're right. I, I, I've seen a few of them date cops before. What would be Yeah. What would be her reason? And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just felt like sticking to the code, you know? I didn't have no problem with the law enforcement and whatnot, but... I don't know, I just feel like I should be sticking to a code or, you know. Okay. What do you mean by sticking to the code? Just, that's honestly, like, you know, I just felt like everybody kind of reminded me and whatnot. So, yeah, that's just life. So. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused. Reminded you of what? <laughs> no, because, um, you know, I'm just mentioning about him being in law enforcement. And um, so I just felt, although I don't see it as a problem, there's always been a history behind it. Mm. So I just would just follow that. Oh, I, see. I don't follow too many, but I'll follow that. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> she wasn't she wasn't attracted, that's all. Now, she was just dumb. She pissed me off. You're discombobulated. You're all over the place with this one. Like, a code? What's, what code? The dude is a police officer. We know the, we know the stigmatization of a police officer. We know because we're black. We know. But that does not mean that this guy is the asshole police officer. You don't even know him. You don't even know him. It's like I could just turn around and say what you just said about the profession you're in. Oh, I got to stick with a cold because ain't nobody making no money at a shoe store. And all you doing is cleaning up shit after after old people in the old folks home. That, that would be wrong of me to turn around and say that to you, right? You you want to stick to the code. What's the code? What's what's the code? You're discombobulating. You over here trying to pull shit out of your ass to say. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm a little confused. It reminded you of what? I'm confused. What what's the code? All right, you you said that this one right here got on your nerves. Why? Because what she said was stupid. Basically, what she was saying was, I'm following everybody else. Nobody else liked anything about them, so I'm not gonna like them either. And she she looked like the type that would probably go out with anybody that looked like they got a little bit of something going on. Well, if I was to go back in the beginning of our conversation. 
to when Arlette introduced it them. And today we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. They they wasn't interested in the begin with. I, I I think old boy should be glad that none of these females was interested. Because uh -huh. if you want to just base that off off the initial introduction, then yeah, I, I think he should be glad that none of these females yeah. is interested he in He dodged him. a lot of bullets. He sure did. A lot of them. It was like, what, eight? Let's see, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, he he, he dodged the chamber. I, I agree with the first commenter that the host sh should pick a better quality of women because this crop right here wasn't it. I, I, I think the guy was cool. He has a good job. He's presentable. He's clean. Well mannered, soft spoken. Let a modern woman on Kendra just says that's that's the type of man she wants. That guy, that guy right there. And being a police officer, maybe around eighty or ninety k. Not 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 a hundred k, but eighty or ninety k. But no. that's still good money though. Stick around fifty or sixty, not eighty or ninety. I, I'll, I'll say about eighty or ninety because I'm not going to put my life on. The no, line they don't make that much. I'm being for real. That much. Well, this this light truck drivers when they come out of school, they don't make that much either. But if you've been in it for a minute, still police officers do not make eighty to ninety dollars. I mean, a thousand dollars. They would have to be like the chief of police or higher. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They do not. They make a median, uh, uh, um, a median salary anywhere. And if you talking about just like say they've been on the force for like at least ten years, they're making anywhere between like fifty, forty-five to maybe sixty-five thousand dollars. Eighty or ninety is far out of range. And how we see this police thing is taking you out. Like, is that ever a problem when it comes to dating? Uh, no, law enforcement is a very, you know, skeptical career to be in. Yeah. Um, I respect everyone. I joined this career because this was a calling for me. Yeah. And I like what I do. Okay, good. I'm a protector. So if you need someone to protect you, I'm someone to protect you. Period. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.